hey, yo, my name is Christian. Just want to keep us clear. You know, okay, I'm just kidding. But my name is Christian. I agree with God, and this is my story. Yeah, um, growing up, no cap, I I was born into a Christian home. So um, my mom has been the most loving person in the world. So she basically imparted Jesus into me. But in the process, um, as a young kid, I made to make mistakes, and uh, I made a few mistakes. No cap, I really, really did. But my first real encounter with God was when I think I was in SS2. I've had a lot of encounters with God before, but the first major one that blew my mind and still going to blow my mind to, I don't know when, um, was when I was in SS2 and uh, I wanted to have a girlfriend. What my mom has taught me um, from the beginning of my life is to always put God first in every single thing I do. And since when I was thinking, I was just like, okay, daddy, if I want to have a girlfriend, I want to push you into this. I kept asking God for over three months straight on if this was the girl for me, if this was the girl for me. And uh, it didn't answer me. But in the process, I just kept on being persistent because I felt like if I could be consistent and persistent at what I do in begging God and being in supplication to God, everything is going to work out. So I asked God one day, one faithful day, I didn't expect any answer that day. Something beautiful and miraculous happened. I was on my bed. I was. On the top bunk, I was on hostel back then um, in secondary school, so I was on the top bunk, and um, my best friend was coming in. And I was about to finish my prayer before I sleep, and I said, "Lord, can you tell me if so, so, so is the person for me?" I just when I finished the prayer, he said something. He said, "Wait." That's the first time my dad has ever spoken to me. Wait, who is God? And that was very, 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 very phenomenal. And I was confused. I was like, okay, maybe someone around me said something. And I asked my best friend, sorry, was anyone around me? He told me no. I asked, um, I, I checked around. I was like, no one's around me. And since that day, that's the day I knew that God really loves me. Because for me to hear the voice of the Lord, that was beautiful. And disclaimer, it wasn't like Big Brother type thing or... Um, I don't know, all those radio stations know was something very soothing, calm, and sweet. And that was the best moment, one of the best moments of my life. And the process, I made a decision to be dedicated to God. Even though I obeyed God in the process, I disobeyed God, but I obeyed, obeyed God in the process. And I knew that I was really, really a kid. And I told God, um, if um, I know I'm going to disobey you, truly, because I was very impulsive, I was a child, and I really wanted to be part of the movement of having a girlfriend and I said Lord please if you don't really want this make everything stop right now and you'll be my dad is the best dad ever your dad is the best dad ever and immediately he cut the relationship off and was very very happy now a lot of people would have been going through some mental breakdown because um, the relationship which they thought would happen didn't happen no it was because the best relationship in the world which is God's relationship with you was established at that moment and for God to be by your side in every step that means he has a plan for you there's something I tell everyone is um, for you to wake up another day and for you to have breath in that morning that means your purpose still exists so that means you should be happy and have hope for the plans for which you got asked for I know I'm not meant to tell a sermon I'm meant to tell my story but this is one of the most beautiful stories I've ever had another thing which um grew me so much was my mom the environment I was in and that's why I'll tell everyone and anyone that four things that makes you live a blessed life the first thing is the God you serve the second thing is the books you read the third thing is the friends you keep and the fourth is the environment you are in once all of this is balanced I promise you live the best life ever but let me give you a disclaimer when I say the God you serve it's not my seven idols no is about who is God over your God. It could be your girlfriend. It could be your boyfriend. It could be your academics. Yes, I said your academics. It could be that influencer. It could be that pastor. It could be that great person. It could be that little person. It could be your problems. It could be your worries. That is God over your God. But I promise you, once you can tell God, Lord, 
I know right now you might be number two to me, but I really want you to be number one. Become my number one. I promise your life is going to change. This is actually my story. I'm Christian. I believe God. Thank you so much. Right.